All right, real quick before the video starts, I've got a giveaway to do on the IO iceberg. So let's jump right in. You guys left a ton of comments on this video. You left, according to this, 3,608 comments, which is insane. So thank you to all of you that commented. Uh, we're going to copy this link and send it on over to the uh, random YouTube comment picker. All right, so I'll put um, that in right there. We're gonna get YouTube comments and then we'll click start and see who wins the iYoYo iceberg. All right, let's do it. Okay, congratulations to Michael Desmond. He commented great. And uh, yeah, Michael Desmond, please email me. The email is right there on the screen right now. And so uh, send, shoot me an email. We'll get all the uh, like shipping and everything like that worked out. And congratulations on winning the iYoYo iceberg. Again, thank you to everyone that entered this and commented or watched my video right here. I really appreciate all of that. And yeah, let's get on with the Ray Tracer review. Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new YoYo Friends Ray Tracer. Let's jump right in. So real quick, I just want to give a quick shout out to Yo Friends for actually sending me the Ray Tracer. It was super generous of them and they sent it right on over. So thank you to Yo Friends for sending me this Yo for review. All right, so first let's just gather a little bit of background knowledge on this Yo. So according to Yo Friends, this is essentially like their newest kind of bimetal competition Yo. It's very competition driven. The shape is oriented for that a lot. Let's see if it lives up to the description. Okay, so in the next clip, I'm going to put the specs. And if there's any specs that are unusual, I'll be sure to bold them. Alright, so the Ray Tracer comes in this kind of like all black matte box and on the top it has this kind of really cool Ray Tracer logo. It's got this like kind of orange and purple fade. I really like that. Overall the box has really nothing on it except for the sticker which indicates the color. Now opening it on up we see we just kind of have this presentation of the yo-yo with some like black felt around it. And then once you take the yo-yo out we can see we have two kind of replacement axles which is a really nice addition. In case anything happens to the original axle you got some backup axles for that. Alright so taking a look around the yo-yo as for the specs everything is really pretty standard when it comes to like dimensions and weight. However this yo-yo is made of 7068 aluminum with a stainless steel weight ring on the inside of the cup which is a really kind of premium quality of a yo-yo. As for the color, the orange color in my opinion is really really dope. I think it's like a it's a very saturated and intense orange and the stainless steel rings add kind of a flashiness to the yo-yo while you're playing with it so it overall looks pretty cool. For the finish, this yo-yo has a very very smooth bead blasted finish all around it. The rings, like the stainless steel rings, are a little bit kind of glossy however I found that doesn't really mess with any of the play. The entire body of the yo-yo is a very very smooth matte finish. For the shape, it's actually very very angular and competition oriented like I talked about before. There's some very low walls and quite a few subtle cuts that lead down to the bearing. It's, I'd categorize it as a fairly like sharp design. For the cup, we've got a whole lot going on. There's a bunch of very subtle cuts that lead down to a flat center. In the center, it's got this Ray Tracer laser engraving, and I, I really like the logo itself. However, the laser engraving, you can feel a little bit. You can feel the actual like laser engraving, so you can feel that when you're doing finger spins. I'll talk more about that later in the video. But yeah, um, the logo looks really nice, and overall, the cup looks pretty unique with all those cuts. In summary, the O itself isn't really like crazy unique in any way. However, it is a very competition oriented design. Alright, so let's get to the feel of the yo-yo. This yo-yo is really, really smooth. That was the first thing I noticed. I mean, yo-yo friends just really knows how to make a smooth yo-yo with absolutely no vibe. This is probably one of, if not the most smooth yo-yo I've ever felt in my entire life. In addition, this yo-yo is very, very stable and solid on the string. That stainless steel weight rim in the middle really does its job. It is a very long spinning and rim-weighted yo-yo. 
However, I've also found this yo-yo is very maneuverable and like very easy to change direction. As a result, I can really you know do all my fast tricks without too much effort to crank it up to the fast speeds, which is a really nice attribute about the yo-yo. Whips and slacks are also super easy. The shape is very accommodating for all of that. Tech tricks I found were also really good. The yo-yo isn't too big or wide, so it can fit in your you know complex tech mounts, and it also is very long spinning, so I didn't have any trouble with the yo-yo dying out on a more long tech trick. Horizontal is also extremely good. I was very impressed with how this yo-yo can handle like the harder and more advanced horizontal combos that I threw at it. It was really nice for that. For grinds, this yo-yo is stellar. The finger and palm grinds are just so, so good. There's a very smooth matte finish around the interior yo-yo, like I said before, and so you can do finger and palm grinds for so long. Thumb and talon grinds are actually very good. I didn't really think that they would be able to be done with that, you know, stainless steel rim in the middle there. However, you can definitely do your thumb and talon grinds, which I was very impressed. They were really nice. I'd say finger spins are just all right. Like I talked about before, the cup is flat, so you won't be like locking in. And there also is kind of like that scratchy laser engraving, which does slow them down. And in regards to like how long you can actually do a finger spin for. In conclusion, the Ray Tracer is a really, really nice yo. It feels very premium. It's a, made of some really nice quality metal and it feels great on the string. I can definitely see that it's geared towards competition, and I think a lot of people will be very satisfied with this yo-yo, especially for competition tricks. I was very impressed with what yo-yo friends put out with this yo-yo, and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. Alright, so that is it for my review on the yo-yo friends ray tracer. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, and also if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.